So it's 6.30 in the morning where I'm, and I'm actually going over to Jurong West Stadium for the Cycle Works Wheel Cup crit thing. Yeah, so we're on the way there now. Uh, we're about to leave the house and I'm gonna drive over because I'm lazy to cycle all the way there. So a bit tired because it's like what 6 30 in the morning and then I'm planning to go over to a petrol kiosk to buy some breakfast for my friends and then uh yeah so we're gonna get some bread and let's see how it goes today. Um I think it's quite fun. I've never been to a crit before, I've never been to a race before, and we're just going there for like kind of an exposure rather than with an objective to win if we can win then win if we can't then oh wells so we are actually joining the lowest group so like we are going we are going to group c which is kind of like the beginners group uh i think it's a good place to start although it is a beginners group and it's not very nice to hear lah but uh, it's a good place to start i guess so right now i'm currently at the nearby caltex which is like directly opposite the jurong west stadium uh, we will be attempt I will be attempting four different activities, which is the Karin Elimination KM Time Trial as well as the Scratch Race. Now, some of my friends are only going to be attempting one or two, whereas I am an idiot and I decided to sign up for all four. Now, my legs are kind of painful. Uh, they're kind of sore from like, I don't know what, but they're kind of sore. I've been having trouble walking and uh, hopefully today it doesn't hinder me too much. Now I'll probably go there and like stretch or something And I don't have a proper warm up I've, saw, I've seen like some people cycling in And they were like They cycled all the way here Whereas I'm like In this very nice cozy aircon confined space So hopefully we'll be doing okay Intention again is not to win Intention again is to just go there Have fun, gain some exposure Figure out what is going on Just gain some experience And if we get a chance to win Then we'll go for the win lah so we have arrived at Jurong Stadium, uh, changing to a fresh kit and then I'm going to be wearing my shoes and then we're going to be going over to the stadium where everything is in place. Now I actually see other competitors and uh, between you guys and me, I feel like uh, they are a bit too strong and um, I'm underprepared. I don't know what's going on but hopefully, hopefully we're going to be fine. I hope. I kind of had a set of Allen keys but I had uh, I have no idea where it's gone now kind of lost it so hopefully somebody has an Allen key so that I can mount the GoPro on the on the bike hopefully that's a very nice fix very nice liberty hello morning so we're here hopefully everything is fine it's a bit early I want to sleep but probably go for some morning, like a bit of a warm up, a bit of a lapse to see how it's going on. So I'm probably gonna see if anyone has an Allen key so that I can mount the GoPro here and then I'm just gonna use my phone to record after that. So I'm having a bowl for breakfast and probably a gel or something. I'm waiting for my friends and there are actually people there like practicing the circuit. Kind of scared, but whatever, right? Gotta try our best. Experience and at a you know relatively affordable price. Are you alive? So we have to introduce the scene yeah, to introduce yeah. competitive Kirby and Lively Racing. I was brought up by myself and Ty Vincent. We used to be national cyclists who only recently retired from the national team earlier this year. Immediately after the briefing, I was straight away caught up to the starting line to go and start my race, which is, I believe, the scratch race. It consists of racing 12 laps around the thing and it's just like 1, 2, 3 who gets first, second or third. Okay, so top lap race. Great C. It's supposed to be an introduction to racing, so we consider it to each other. This is uh, entry level. Don't kill each other. Safety, yeah? Emphasize that again. Now, at the end of 12 laps, on the 12th lap, break a bell that signifies the sprint lap. And the race will end after the bell. Top lap after the bell. After the bell lap. Any questions? No. Okay? Alright. Start. This is such a poor angle. <laughs> All right, our racing is about to begin. The great sea scratch race will flag up in three, two, one.
after going through this very first corner, a lot of things started to go into my head, such as I can't take this corner. Although it looks very wide, I was starting to have a lot of PTSD from my descending. And although I'm not descending, I was just like kind of afraid and was trying to hold back, like cornering into the turn. Now, as you can see, obviously the group is relatively slow at the very, very start. So everybody is just trying to warm themselves up and trying to get into the rhythm of it. Of course, since it's the very start of the race, everybody is going to be taking their time, just slowly bringing up the pace. And only towards the end, that's when everybody is going to be dropping what bombs. Everybody is going to be starting to chase each other. There are a few people who try to sort of break away or like push harder in between the race. But of course, it's a 12 lap race of cat C people. We are just going to be very relaxed and they're just going to come back either way. So let's skip to a bit more interesting parts, which is towards the last three laps of the race. It's the last three laps of the race. We are pushing 300, 400 watts. Even through the corner, we are going 400 over watts. Constantly chasing this guy in the orange and white jersey who was doing a massive effort just trying to pull for the next three laps. And this is just the last final three laps that we are really pushing extremely hard. Or at least to me it's hard lah, it's really not very really easy in the first place. From this point on, I was desperately trying to get out of this small corner but behind me there were people just blocking my back wheel and I don't want to really cause an accident. So I tried to go forward but obviously I don't really want to push because in my head like there was still two laps left and I still wanted to sit on his wheel for as long as I could. It's the last lap of the Group B race and they're actually coming back right now. So yeah, I ended mine already. So yeah. It's very hot. Why is it so hot? I don't know. It's damn hot. It's damn hot. It's getting hot. It's only what's the time now? It's only like eight forty one. Yeah. It's only like eight forty one. It's freaking hot. Why am I doing here? I don't know. You cycle us to join us. Uh, but you're here, no? Why? I, I, I don't know. Why. I don't know why also. It will be on a another nonsense right. Hello. Ah, uh, you see here with uh. At least it's shaded. Oh, the temperature drop a bit different. Uh. Yeah. <laughs> hey, DJ, you from there, right? Then you walk yeah, in here. You feel the temperature yeah, drop. Yeah, it's that, please. Please, I'm gonna start now. <laughs> <laughs> hey, bike, uh, bike. By 9.30, we're gonna go and start the KM time trial. So, obviously, we're gonna be warming up a bit. And uh, hopefully, Yongen can get a nice timing for his KM time trial because he's going first so yes I mean overall I was in Cat C and the scratch race was actually quite safe so I think everything is okay it was quite fun I got third out of five or six people so it's not a lot of people but at least podium I guess are you ready for your KM time trial? No. why? You got, you got TT helmet though? poor boy I'm very sad. My cleat broke again. The top broke. So hopefully we are still able to continue. I still have three more races. But okay, la, all is quite small. And I believe that I can uh, successfully manage to 
Okay. So we're going to be starting the camp time trial soon. It's going to be a two lap race. So one lap is about 450 meters. And then, uh, yeah, it's going to be a two lap race where the fastest one wins, obviously. It's just a 1 km time trial. So hopefully, uh, we're able to just do quite well. My target is around 500 watts for that 1 km or more if it's possible. So let's see how much I can sustain. Solid effort from Yong En. He did a 1 minute and 21 seconds for his 1 km time trial. Now, we were just competing within the three of us for who gets the best timing. Since it was an open cat race, I think the chances of us getting first was a bit low, so we decided to have fun within ourselves. Good one, riders. If you are not on the starting line when your name is called, you will be in... Hey, come on. One. Be your own friend, ah. 131. Oh, Home straight, back straight. 131. Get ready. You must be in 121. <laughs> be one. How? How much are you pushing? <laughs> okay, JJ going already. I also need to go and stand by already. Where is he? Why is he so chill? Oh, he's still there. I thought he go already. Okay, la. post race interview. Are you okay? <laughs> what is going on with this guy? Uh, so what is the wattage that you're pushing out? <laughs> okay, la, he, must, he must be quite tired. He must be quite shagged. Poor boy. Bro, it's so, you so far, you're like so focused on like putting out as much power as possible, you forgot to get everyone. Oh shit, okay, yeah. I'll go try my best. Okay, uh, never mind. If you go around the outside, yeah, you can keep pedaling. Like, if I can, you can one. <coughs> can, you can. I don't dare. <coughs> yeah, man, good job, good job. You did quite well. Now it's uh, JJ's turn. After JJ, it's me again. Oh my god, he just left. He just went. Oh no. Let's go. Bye bye, JJ. Bye bye. Okay. <laughs> I'm sorry, Yongen, but both of us managed to beat your timing of 1 minute and 21 seconds. JJ got 1 minute and 14 seconds, whereas I got 1 minute and 15 seconds. Although nowhere near the first place, we still beat you. Too bad. Now this is the carrying race for the fixed gear group where there is actually a pace bike at the very front who is going to be pacing for 2 laps afterwards the riders are going to be racing on their own for the next 2 laps off also having a 1st, 2nd and 3rd place Now, although I still have many more race footages that I can actually upload, uh, I decided not to. And the reason why is because I want you guys to go and figure out and go and try out the Wheel to Dream Cup on your own. Now, the Wheel to Dream Cup that is combined with uh, Singapore Cycling Federation as well as Cycleworks is actually going to be happening again sometime in November, like late November, which is going to be two weeks from now, like from this video's upload. The link to the website and the registration will actually be in the description below. I will go and put it. I will not be racing this time because uh, I am too unfit and too untrained for this and the people there are extremely extremely strong but I do want to say something yes it is a race yes you are competing for prizes with first second and third but you need to understand that not only your own safety is important the people around you their safety is also important so keep the rubber side down don't go and crash into people don't do stupid things keep your handles on the keep your handles keep your hands on the handlebar at all times Make sure that everybody just rides safely. There is no point for you to go and push like other people or there is no point for you to do unnecessary movements like dive bombs and whatever. You are not racing for GC. 
you're just racing for maybe a t-shirt or something. So just remember, if you ever want to go and race the wheel to dream, go for it. I mean, why not, right? It's a good exposure to crit racing, especially in Singapore. And when other events, the prices are so high, it's like $100 per event. Having an event where your entry fee is only $20, I think that is a very good introduction, especially even for students, where you're able to race all the categories for like $20 flat. So give it a try, give it a thought, especially if you live around the West, whether you're on road, fixed, whether you're fast, slow, go ahead, give it a try. I think it's a very good experience for everybody and maybe next time I'll go again.